Hi, welcome to, um... What's this called? Demon Time with Boy Toy, where we watch, uh, movies and, um... Basically do director's commentary. Movies that I like. Might do a movie that he likes. Don't think he watches movies. He lost his vision in 2002. But I think that, um, the next video that we're gonna be watching... Star Wars Episode 1 of The Phantom Menace might be the best one yet. Personally, Star Wars Episode 1 is like one of the first ones that I was introduced to because I was born in 1997, which we are now reaching the uh, bicentennial celebration of. So, yeah, I'm very old. Episode 1 was released in 1999. I was like one and a half, Lion King one and a half when it happened. So, um, but yeah. That was one of the first ones that I was en en engrossed with. I was very enthralled by the uh, pod racer game that they had at Chuck E. Cheese's. Good old Chuck E. Cheddar's. But uh, I didn't really watch the movie until I was about maybe five or six. And that's when Attack of the Clones came out. So I kind of, um, yeah, I didn't really understand what was happening. I just thought everything looked cool. So this is one of the first times that I've watched it as a full grown adult completely comprehensive understanding of the Star Wars universe. So this should be fun. He hasn't seen it before at all. Um, I don't think he even knows what he's up for. So let's get this started. Hello. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm drinking, um, I don't know what that is in Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? No, I wish. I forget what coffee is in Spanish. No, it's good though. Oh, well, you drink you fucking dirt water. No, I don't drink coffee. Period. No, I know. I'm saying, but I think it tastes good. This one says it has. Uh... Wait, let me do my high school math real quick. <laughs> Six hundred milligrams of caffeine. That that doesn't seem safe. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. Why are you like this? <laughs> it's my funeral. It's my party and I'll <laughs> I'll die if I want to. <laughs> Slurp. Anyway. <laughs> Here, let me let me let me guzzle on my health potion real quick. Unk, unk, unk. <laughs> Oh, do you know the password, or do we need to tell the audience? No, I know it. You are being recorded, by the way. This is <laughs> this oh, isn't a, this is a recorded automated phone call. <laughs> I also have kombucha with me. That's my little <laughs> my little servant, kombucha. <laughs> is this one? Yes, uh, before we start, can you... No! Oh, no, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, well, I was going to say, I wanted you to look at that. This is so good. <sighs> okay. Uh, <laughs> well, look at. I want you to look at that picture real quick. What do you make of that? What do you think's going on? Like a child doing... <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've, I've sent... <laughs> so I sent you the picture of my room, right? I think so, yeah. Have you, did you see that picture on my wall? Mm -hmm. Well, I, ha I don't know. I have a um, Pizza Hut. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. And it's it, and it's it's <laughs> it's this picture on a Pizza Hut pizza box. I haven't opened it yet. It has not been opened. Um, so there's like grease from 1999 in there. Older than you? No, maybe the same age there's as you. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time capsule. I don't think I can handle kombucha right now. If this explodes on is. if this explodes on me. Ew. Doesn't even sound right. <laughs> it's pineapple peach. Alright, All right, are you ready? Ah. Uh. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I don't think anyone's ever ready for the Phantom Menace. They just kind of... They just kind of do it. We'll see. They kind of have it happen to them. If I start shaking like you, then you know something's up. 
<laughs> if you can hear my if you can hear my death rattle through the microphone then early on <laughs> oh it's on my face I'm so do you know how messy I am why do you like me <laughs> oh my god I'm, I'm literally gonna <laughs> I'm making a mess over here this is gonna explode on me do you know what happens with here read this so you know what's happening it's really fascinating because it talks about <laughs> the taxation of trade routes and <laughs> to the outer line <laughs> star systems. I love that. <laughs> the Trade Federation has stopped uh, the embargo on. <laughs> this is literally about the <laughs> <I> would... package. <laughs> yeah, it's, it really is. <laughs> and then it just randomly goes into Jedi Knights, so. We should have Jedi Knights right now. That's what a. AOC is a Jedi Knight. <laughs> now it's Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if we this did it, Joe. We did it. <laughs> we did it, Joe. We did it. <laughs> She's literally high as fuck. <laughs> I hate that I have like the hand movements down too. <laughs> I just rehearsed that so many times. Um. <laughs> As a literal child. With all due respect, the ambassadors for the Supreme Chancellor wish to board Um. <laughs> so these are. <laughs> Does that seem like a really racist accent to you? <laughs> I, don't, I need to hear it again. <laughs> it's yeah, mild. It. It's mildly yeah. offensive. Okay, I'm, op I'm opening up the kombucha. If I don't answer, you know I died. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's good. It didn't blow. Okay. I'm so scared to try that tea you got me. <laughs> it tastes like water. Menacingly. <laughs> oh, it slaps. It slaps so good. So, um, I have been trying to grow my, um, <laughs> my Padawan braid. You see his hair? Yeah. He <laughs> gets better. This tastes like water. Why does this not taste like kombucha? Is this water? You know, with you, I would believe it. <laughs> it might be water. Oh. I think I might have filled this with water and used this as like a water bottle. <laughs> That's why it wasn't bubbly. Okay. You remember how the first movie opened? There was like, yeah. like explosions and stuff, and this is how this opens. Uh, By the way, this takes place like about well, probably about like thirty-five years before the that the A New Hope. This is a prequel. So this is before the movies you watched. Come through, slay yes, mama. Never do that again in your life. <laughs> so these are droidicas. They're like one of my favorite droid designs. They're like, um, they're very maxed out. Hey, uh, no, they're like Bakugans. Do you know what Bakugan is? Mm. Okay, they're like Bakugan. See, she made, she's she's that slut. What's the braid dude's name again? Who? The ponytail dude. Oh, um, I'll let you figure that out. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not being facetious. I'm just saying when you when when they say it, you'll be like, oh, I remember that. There she is. That's that bitch. The bitch. Got her. I love her outfit. You should buy it. Uh, <laughs> make it. That's, I mean, finale eleganza runway. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was saying earlier, like I don't even remember when. Um, her outfits are based on um, like Mongolian slash like. 
not really I any mean, i guess asian not really chinese but like himalayan tibetan stuff um and he basically just like took stuff directly from them and said it was star wars so cultural appropriation <laughs> So this is um, Nabu. Nice. I know it's very pretty. <laughs> There's a meme from this scene when <laughs> when he glitches out. I'll send it to you afterwards. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> also, all these people here, um, other than her, don't really matter. He kind of does. I don't know. He's cool, I guess. I love her lipstick. That's such a cool yeah, idea. It's, really it's, nice. such, it's such a cool idea to just like only top lip and then like just like a line. That's so cool. Because it's kind of Victorian era, but it's kind of not. It's so cool. It is also kind of um, like um, Kabuki, like Japanese. So this is also Nabu. It's a very diverse planet um it has a human population it also has a gungan population um you'll learn to really like the gungans i think uh, they spent a lot of time like designing ships and stuff for this movie so when they filmed this they basically had they had a guy and then they put like a motion capture thing like on top of his head so basically where jar jar's like throat is is where his head was and then they attached like an extra like um uh what's her name hornacia head on top of him oh my God. and that's what it so, uh, looks like when they when they filmed it so that's how they knew where to look at is because there's like an extra head prop on top of his head okay do you see the padawan braid on the back of his hair no. Yeah, that's what I want. You are not getting that. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, you know it's hot. No, I don't. <laughs> you, you, you know that's it's it's what's in. Mm -hmm. What if I came to, like in those robes right there? I do like the belt though. I don't know if I don't. I don't like the brown robe though. I can deal with the tan oh. ones. I would just look at you and go. Mm. And then just go on, <laughs> on my fucking So it, <laughs> exactly what you do anyways. <laughs> so they are going in the water. Um, yeah, this seems really impractical because they swim a far way. They swim so far. I'm like, you do not. You can't swim that far. My ass would have been out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I would have ducked my head underwater and been like, uh Oh, shit. This looks really nice. It looks really nice. I hate this scene, though. I forgot there's a scene. Um, I might leave the room for a second when that happens. <laughs> Wait, why? I have... Um, well, we've talked about it. I have a fear of, like, dark water... Like, really underwater stuff. Did I tell you about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, like, I can't deal with, like... <laughs> stuff like underwater. Yo, you want me to skip it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because it's. I mean, it's not happening. It, it's. I'm okay right now. There's a scene though, that that like. Tro I think that's why I have that fear because I saw it when I was a kid. But no, I think their cities are really pretty. How they built them, I don't know. Because they they breathe air, so I don't know why they're underwater. Ew, I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a figurine of him. Get rid of it quickly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they well, they made so many figurines for this, for the Phantom Menace, like ridiculous. Like I'm not, I'm not kidding when I say that. It's just like this is also the scene, and I don't. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna deal with it. If I pass out, <laughs> if I, I pass out, you don't hear from me. You know why. Okay, I'm still here. I made it. I just really hate that. I hate... I was so uncomfortable. Okay. Do you know what's going on? 
Oh, yeah, I think so. Okay, that's actually surprising because I don't. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's that fucking 600 milligram golf <laughs> you have. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm seeing sounds right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maxi pad the force. I don't even. I that's Maxi not. Pad that's not even. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Whatever he's speaking is not even like translatable. You remember that uh, the underwater scene in Spy Kids, the first one. You're gonna be so mad. You haven't seen Spy Kids, have you? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's a scene when they when they use the microwave to make McDonald's, um, and then they go underwater. Uh, it's, it's similar to this. They just they just they just keep making me. I'm cringing so hard right now. Oh, I hate this so much. Yeah, I'm like a fear of falling into the ocean, seeing shit like this. That's what, that's what I'm. That's what that's it. That's absolutely what I have. Like I can't. Mm, okay, thank you. Now we're in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. I can't go. I can't even go in a lake. If I can't see the bottom, it's it's done. <laughs> I love this outfit. I know. If you could see, if, well, I mean, I don't. You don't have to go back, but there's like, you can see the the cord plugged into the dress and then plugged into an outlet. <laughs> That's how it's oh lit up. My God. I, I, I don't know how they didn't notice that. But yeah. So obviously, this is based on Venice, Italy. It's a lot of the a lot of the prequels are based on like, um, like. That certain era of Shakespeare where he was very into like Venetian stuff, um, so like Othello and stuff like that. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of Romeo and Juliet in the second one too, but like he definitely took inspiration from like Shakespeare as opposed to more types of. He did mythology in the first three, and then he went more towards Shakespeare and the Shakespeare and like political stuff in this one. Which I mean is admirable because like no one else was really doing that. They were making fucking Transformers, Michael Bay movies. With <laughs> <laughs> was fucking Shia LaBeouf. Oh my and, god, I hated that. <laughs> is he dead yet? Did he OD um, yet? I don't know. Might be pulling a Drake Bell. Did you know what Drake Bell did? I just know, I know he's really popular in, like, Mexico or something. Oh, he moved to Mexico and changed his name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's popular there. I would do that, too. And do you hear from Josh Peck at all? Um, I think I see him on YouTube. That's it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like saying, like, oh, my career? I'm on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Self-employed. There, I mean, really, the this, the costume design and and these movies are really good. Nah, man, maybe not his. Nah, his is a little. Eh. But hers is yeah. Also, um, who who do you think plays the queen? Do you think it's Kira Knightley or do you think it's um, Natalie Portman? I don't know who that first person is. <laughs> um, she's from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I've only seen like the f half of the first one. Well, she's the only she's the only lady in that movie at all. <laughs> she's uh, a, she's. I don't even remember. Okay. Well, here's That's the thing. Like the outfit. So, so they interchange those actresses to play the role. To the point where like you can't it's hard to tell who is who when they filmed it because they look so similar they just had them both play the same role there's a reason for that they're little sneaky bastards <laughs> me during a tornado drill <laughs> you remember when he had a tornado drill and he had to sit in the goddamn bathroom on the floor 
they had us in like the hallway. We we did that sometimes, but so, depending on where your class was at, some people had the fucking bathroom, the boys' bathroom. <laughs> Smells like fucking B.O. and Axe body spray from <laughs> Sometimes, and you know how boys are, they don't flush. <laughs> Just yeah. like six, uh, six hour long shit in the toilet. <laughs> he looks like he's not from 1999. He looks like he's from 1970. Oh, by the way, so, um... R2 is not a thing right now. That is R2, but no one knows who R2 is right now. You can also notice that they have a slight, like, Shakespearean English accent. Everyone does. Kinda. Some of them have more of an American, but, like, the idea is to keep, like, a theatrical inflection because he's trying to do, like, Shakespeare. That's what English is for them, is that accent. He's pretty cool. This is not the last you'll see of him. He's actually designed to be a woman at some point. Um, I'll send you concept art. She like she had red, like really red uh, dreadlocks. She looked cre really, really creepy. And he was like, this is a little too creepy. I'm going to scale this back because this is for this is a kid's movie. <laughs> oh, did you see those pictures of Natalie Portman recently? Mm, I don't think so. So she's in the Thor movies. She, that's that's her back there in the orange. She's she plays. She's in the Thor movies. They have her on fucking steroids now. It's crazy. No, I haven't seen it. It's crazy. I think it's edited because it's like two. It's like two pictures. So I'm like, okay. Well, you know how Disney. Well, you saw those that pictures of that. Um. Oh, what's his name? Oh. Um. That comedian, yeah, I'm about. like where he looks like a fucking yeah. action figure, and I'm like, you don't even look like a human being. What is wrong? How do they? What do they do to you? Like a Disney training camp. Yeah. Oh, you mean just like a ster steroid cocktail? <laughs> That's what they do. They pump them up, and then and then and then they're like, oh, why are these people <laughs> dying on us? So this is Tatooine. We've been here before. This seems familiar. <laughs> oh, and in the, in the sequel trilogy, they have a new desert planet that looks pretty much the same, but they it's it's called Jakku, but it's it's pretty pretty much the same thing. Because J.J. Abrams is like, but it's it's not Tatooine, it's new, it's a new planet. And I'm like, okay, but it looks the same. So what's the difference? <laughs> they could have landed like closer. There's the Jawas back there. <laughs> Yeah, he's stuffed in shit. That's Watto. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's... Um, I don't like him already. He's also... He's also... Uh, there's a lot of racism in this movie. <laughs> Me when I argue with my cat. <laughs> He's not the best actor in the world, um, but he gets death threats for this role, which I think is a little far for a kid. Because that, yeah, that that's that's, that's how a little far. <laughs> that that that's how the Star Wars fandom is. Is it's these like thirty year olds that still live with their parents, and they're like, you 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 were a I didn't like your performance. And it's like it's a ten year old. They're like it's it's a kid. And he's not, he's not that bad. I mean, his haircut doesn't help. He's doing his best with a bowl cut. His his Literally, his head is a circle. Okay, so that droid that he has there, um, they come back in the Mandalorian, so... I'll, just, I'll point that out when we get to that episode. So he's based on, like... Um, what's the word? Like zionistic depictions yeah. with every like he's he's greedy he's got like a nose like that he uh his voice accent yeah <laughs> don't know how that slipped through the cracks but i guess it did i 
At least George Locust isn't a turf, though. <laughs> so he's a slave for the guy. Um, slavery is very prominent on Tatooine. Um, we'll get into that a little bit in like episode three. It's kind of weird. The whole situation with his mom. Okay, so um, that's my boy. That's a uh, Sebulba. <laughs> so I thought that Sebulba, when we watched Return of the Jedi, they added a scene at Jabba's palace. I thought they added Sebulba in there, and that's why I freaked out. It's not Sebulba, um, but they added a scene with a guy that looks like him. Yeah, he's got a weird face. When I made my Tinder profile, I had him as, um, like, the Lego version of Sebulba was one of my pictures. Oh my god. And no one said <laughs> and and I was like, why did no one swipe right? I don't know why. <laughs> so here's his condo in the East Village. Rent is, like, 6000 a month? <laughs> But he has a great view of um, the water processing plant, so that's good. Some people say, okay, there's a little totem back there. Some people say that is it. Okay, well, this is better. Um, that's someone that we'd know. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently a 10-year-old built him just by himself. You know those kids are, that are like really into like Lego robots? Mm. That's him. Mm. <laughs> like he knows how to do JavaScript when he was like four years old. He has a bumper sticker that says something about coding. <laughs> <laughs> there is a very like... Uh, there's a dynamic between C-3PO and R2-D2 that people don't talk about enough. I know they're droids, but they don't talk about it enough. So this is a cool planet. This is Coruscant. This comes up a lot more in the next two movies. The shape of his head is just, I don't know how to describe it. Oh my god. It's like a dumpling. It's like a dumpling. He's got dumpling head. He also doesn't have an accent like they, they do at all. <laughs> Which is not how accents work. You don't like develop your own American accent when your when your parents are English. Can I let you in on a secret? No, it's uh. Okay, so that is the queen. You know how I mentioned that there's two actresses that play her. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they switch them out. So like, if she doesn't feel like being queen anymore, she acts like she's the servant, and now she's playing the role of the servant. So she is actually the queen. That's out here because she just doesn't like being queen all the time because she, she, she doesn't have a like she didn't really have a say in it. She was forced to be it, so that's her way of doing it. So she is the queen. That's why she said I don't like it. Can you cut my hair like that for me? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll attempt it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can't mess up my hair now. It's like past, past recovery at this point. <laughs> Might as well shave it off. So, by the way, did you know that this is based on um, Adobe architecture? <laughs> From the Southwest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not audio of me <laughs> trying to uh, recover what I said. This scene's kind of cute. He's got that limp wrist. So, this is where Star Wars gets weird because it's also a Christ allegory. Um, <laughs> so, basically, that's a, you know, a virgin birth scenario where she just gave birth to him for no reason, but instead of God doing it, it's the forces of evil. Um, yeah. So that's where George Lucas went with it. <laughs> he could have just been like, oh yeah, his dad isn't around, but he's like, no, it was a virgin birth by the devil. <laughs> I like that little Greedo kid back there. I don't know if it's Greedo. I know it's not Greedo, but it, he's cool too. That bitch got braces. The braces, yeah. 
<laughs> She's a slave, but she can afford or an orthodontist, okay. <laughs> Fuck my life. I don't know why no one mentioned anything that he's building a fucking spaceship and no one's saying anything. Like, it's just <laughs> this kid and he's just like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm just building a car. That's like if there's some kid in, like, sub-Saharan Africa was building a Tesla car from scratch. I believe it. And they're just like, ah. He just knows how to do it. Yeah, in a robot, too. Like a sentient robot with emotion. Do you know how long it takes to code emotion? <laughs> this is the point where I play uh, Mariah Carey. <laughs> we'll get into it later. There is a conspiracy theory with Jar Jar um, that's really interesting. Remind me once we get like to like episode. Well, no, yeah, wait, wait till we get to episode seven. <laughs> me when I prematurely ejaculate. <laughs> that's actually illegal. He just was like, he just, he just, he just literally just took a blood sample and was like, oh no, I'm just, just, I'm just helping you out, kid. It's over 9,000. I mean, usually with like statistical analysis, they would do like another test before they just go, oh, he sees that he's the strongest Jedi in the world in the entire universe. Wow. So this is, um, good old buddy old pal. Darth Mill. Mill. He he's really he's too good for this movie. I think. His design is killer. There was a thing where okay, so the guy that plays him, his name is Ray Park, and he had uh, nudes leak last summer. And people thought he had like a mental breakdown. It was a big thing. I saw his dick. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to. I didn't have to look. It just was like, oh, by the way, here's Ray Park's dick, and I was like, oh, okay, that's what that looks like. Cool. <laughs> Funnily enough, like he, he doesn't have to put like prosthetics on. It looks like Darth Maul's dick. No, oh my God. <laughs> Look, there's a twilight back there. The blue ones. So the cube is weighted, by the way, because he cheats. But Jedi can also cheat. <laughs> As like a linguistics person, I don't know what the hut language is based on. It's got some Italian, it sounds like. But then it's something else, too, and I don't know what it is. I know it's not actually... You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, it's... No, it sounds like something. Yeah, like no alien language is gonna be not based on an Earth language because we can't, we're not gonna comprehend sounds that aren't like even Klingon is based on like it has some like Arabic like guttural sounds to it, like that, like that kind of stuff. Maybe that's what I should go to college for, alien language transcription. <laughs> So this is the pod race that's really infamous in my life. I reference this. I reference this every like. I just I love. The, I reference everything about this scene. It's very influential in my life. Yeah, this would be the shit to go to. Like, why don't we do this? We have fucking baseball. Why don't we do this? We have NASCAR. This is nothing. NASCAR is nothing compared to this. Like, you're the fucking mom. If you don't want him to f race in a battle where people, like, often crash and die, you can just say no. She acts like he has, like, full autonomy. You can be like, uh, oh, he says he wants to do it. I have to let him. I feel like I remember this from something. I ref- maybe? I, I pretty- I probably showed you this. I feel like I played- was this in the Lego games? Uh, absolutely. It has its own level. I feel like I remember this. <laughs> yep, it has its own level. Also, they had a separate pod. Well, they have multiple. So there's a uh, Bombad Racing, which is a game where they have bobbleheads, and that's a racing game. Um, there's also like a actual. Um, what's it? it's, it's it's like a racing simulator. So like you actually physically sit there like an arcade game. Um, that's based on pod racing too. That was a 
It was Ch Chuck E. Cheese's, other places. There's Bib Fortuna. This is his Twink era. In Jibba the Hut. You can also notice that his design is kind of similar to his design from the A New Hope. That's because they redesigned it at the same time. So, like, that's when they added all the CGI. So he just used the same CGI model for um, A New Hope as well. But it looks odd because A New Hope doesn't look as clean. It doesn't look as, like, 4K like this one does. So it looks out of place. Uh, no, she does not because she is the queen, bitch. I don't know what inspired this scene, though. I'm guessing NASCAR, I guess. I don't know. I like it. I also like the audio design. How's a child doing all this shit? Uh, yeah, I don't- they don't ever explain that. They well, I mean, no, well, okay, they do explain it. They say, oh, well, he just has the force, so he can do it. And as a mother, why would you- you know... What yeah, mother- like, what mother would subject- and he does this repeatedly, this is not the first time. Look how insane this is. <laughs> can you imagine? This is how it feels like when I'm driving in downtown Dayton. <laughs> At least these people use their turn signals, though. I don't know what they recorded to get these sounds. They just recorded the sounds coming from my stomach, I guess. Oh my god. Look at just how fucking wild is this? <laughs> this 10 year old is doing this. <laughs> And they're just like, oh, it's okay. Why do school buses sound like that? Oh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think air traffic control might have to do this kind of shit. Yeah, but this 10 year old. <laughs> you, need, you need a 10 year old slave <laughs> that has no formal education on anything. And <laughs> he can do like fucking. Rocket science. I really like her iPad. It's her Kindle. <laughs> it's, it, it's her Nook. <laughs> what if he just wrecked right now? <laughs> <laughs> that kid really- he had four lines and half of them are yippee. Ah, don't do that. Don't dance ever again. People don't interact like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> natural, natural human beings don't do this. Whatever this is, why does he look like a coal miner? He looks like um, you know, in yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say he looks like uh, Jasmine Masters during the beer challenge in season seven. Oh my god! <laughs> Ew. <laughs> why is my ass so fat? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> we will see him in episode two, so... He's very dejected. And sad. Oh, he's in Lego Star Wars 2 as well. So. Damn. <laughs> um, will you get him out of my face? I don't feel like being a parent, so... I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> I, you know, that's I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really like laid back parent. I just you know. Someone she just met like twenty four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to take my son to another planet. And give him a a fire sword, to cut people with. I know she's a slave, but um, what the fuck is he gonna do if she came on the ship with them? You think he's gonna send a ship out to where they are? <laughs> <laughs> you think he's got the money to be like, I'm gonna go track this woman that, what, collects moisture out of a moisture container? <laughs> like, no, he's not gonna... They could they could have took her. This, yeah, they could have easily. In episode two, this, gonna, this is gonna be a lot more controversial because it's, something happens and it's like, why are you staying? Oh, I hate this camera view. Oh, I hate that. That's like the only time they've done that. I hate that. <laughs> this, it's like 10 seconds of seeing the movie from his point of view. Is that what it looks like when you look over me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a <little> <laughs> <laughs> Fucking four foot taller than me. <laughs> Fucking giantism and my dwarfism. 
I like his Gucci backpack. Just get on the ship with them. What is he wearing under his shirt? Yeah, I'm just gonna wear some like barbed wire fencing. As a necklace. Ew, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna send a letter to George Lucas. Like, why did she not get on the ship? <laughs> like, why did why why are you like kind of quasi supporting slavery? In the sense of like, well, she should still be with her slave because he technically owns her, so it's okay. She shouldn't fight it. Look at his little <laughs> his little hover around. <laughs> beep 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 beep. <laughs> Those fucking scooters from Zoe 101. Oh my god! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> This would be cooler if it was nighttime. Or like sunset. Cause like you can't see the lightsabers as well during the day. And there's so much glare from the sun. They could have done it. They you know what they could have done? They could have done a sunset like during a new hope when he like stood out there with the two suns. They could have done that. That would have been like a callback to that would've that would've looked cool. See, I don't know why why didn't I write a Star Wars? I don't know, go rewrite one. I can't. Boy. Because Disney owns it, and Disney apparently doesn't like my videos because they put copyright infringements on it. <laughs> one day, Disney will suck my dick. One day. His, his frozen head will suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of chair that is. I don't like it. It's like a spider chair. I mean, really, if you just go under the water, they were right there. So, and they're and they light up, so you can see water is transparent, so you can see them through the water because they are a lit up village underwater. So, I, if you just took like a drone and flew it over the water, you can see where they are. Why does she sound like Lana Del Rey? Yeah. I I don't. Why did I just? I've never noticed that before. I, well, I've never watched the movie since like pre Lana. Lana Del Rey's ruined me as a person. <laughs> she's. I think she's ruined a lot of people as a person. That's like uh, uh, video <laughs> game As a society, we've been. It's been a detriment to us, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> there's no going back now. So this is Coruscant. Um, I think there's a scene where he pronounces it as Coruscant. Because <laughs> he, he just reads the script wrong. <laughs> Chancellor Valorum is not... Uh, he's not really in the movie that much. <laughs> Stuff happens. He's supposed to be like the head honcho of this whole planet. and then oh, Actually, of like the, the Republic in general. Because he's the head Chancellor. But then stuff goes down. He is on a Pepsi can. If you get the Pepsi promotional... Um, like merchandise that they got do you have it i i almost have it i almost, almost. I, I i lost a, a bet for it um i got it I, 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 I almost had it i know everything about it i don't have it though i i will one day it's expensive it's like 500 dollars. jesus he also has hearing aids like so he can hear everything <laughs> <laughs> Why was he like leaning back like that? <laughs> he was doing a little dance. Oh, look at that. I think that's a Bothan back. No, that's not a Bothan. I don't know what alien that is. He looks gross though. Bothan horse people. I like the architecture. Um, Coruscant is also like. So this is a city, and if you go to this core of the planet. It keeps going so like they don't have a ground like the ground is like more and more city it'll it'll make more it'll make sense when we see the clone wars like there's no like underground like the underground is actually more city this outfit though the outfit yeah <laughs> you gotta remake this somehow i i already have just the aesthetic in general of this whole room not his outfit, though. See, his outfit literally looks like, um... 
it looks Shakespearean. Like even the just just the quilted, it, it's it looks old. Yeah, I'm looking so somewhere is confusing me. Who? Didn't you say like is it her that switches out? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Like... Exactly. Yeah. So it's weird. So you never know which actor, if it's her, if it's her servant doing it, yeah. Which is the whole point. So, the, <laughs> so here we go. This is, <laughs> this is the Jedi Council. Uh, this Coyote Mundy back there with the penis head. <laughs> this was, they did have a puppet version of Yoda, and then they switched it when they did Attack of the Clones. It went to full CGI. Um, so originally they had a puppet here, but they remastered it. That's also Mace Windu. You do you know Mace Windu? You've probably seen him, right? Mm -hmm. You okay? So that's um, yeah, that's Mace Windu. Uh, at this point in the story, Yoda is not yet off his rocker, so he is somewhat coherent. He can talk sentences and not freak the fuck out like he does in the original trilogy. He's not as senile. My friend really hates Kyani Mundi. <laughs> Well, because he he's a he's legit in canon as a polygamist, um, and he like fucked and I think he killed a bunch of people too on his home planet. I think I can't remember the exact story, but I just know he has a lot of wives and kids. Jesus, I don't. And that's one of the things where I'm like, why did that have to be added? I could have gone without knowing that. Why did you add that to the story? Like, what is that adding to his character? Oh, by the way, he's a polygamist. Like. Cool. Like, great. What is that? Look at this outfit, though. Let's talk about this outfit. Let's talk about that wig now. Look at that. That's me in the background with the long arms. <laughs> look at that fucking shit. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to walk in and look like literally $3 billion. Look at her hair. Yeah, I love that. So this is supposed to like emulate uh, ancient Rome, but sci-fi. I think this is the scene where they have ET as one of the pl as one of the aliens. This is also supposed to mimic like Senate hearings in the U.S. because this is kind of based on it, it. Not yet. It's getting there. It's hinting at like. This is before 9-11, though. So it's not yet anti-Bush, but it's, it's getting there. <laughs> this is madness right now. I don't know what's happening. This is Gaga when she <laughs> does at the Biden inauguration. <laughs> I wish she would have done something like that. Can you imagine if someone dressed up like that at the inauguration? I mean, I know there's like a I level, there's like a level of class. I know that's supposed to be involved, but like of all people, she would be the one that could pull that off. That people would be like, oh, of course, yeah, she did that. I don't think anyone else in our culture could do that at the moment. Oh, I can tell the difference now. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that, I, I'm, that's not Natalie. No, that is. Is it? Yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> I know, I know, it's confusing. How's I swear that it's more like Natalie than her. <laughs> I swear that's her. <laughs> and they swear do. What? I swear it's. I think it's Natalie. I don't know. I could be wrong. Her accent's weird too, and she does she does that too because so they can switch out. So she does this like deep voice thing. Me. <laughs> too old. <laughs> Literally everyone on Grinder. <laughs> he's ten years old. No, he's too old. <laughs> he's, he's, he's too old. Old oh, oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because she's a fucking slave. He's a ten-year-old. <laughs> Can you imagine if like your your therapist is like, hmm, 
You display you, you, you your mother is a slave and she's on a distant planet and you'll never see her again. And you display sadness? Hmm, you're very weak. <laughs> you're a weak individual because you feel sad about your mom. Who's a slave? We're going to judge you on that. His mom's a slave. <laughs> He's been a slave his whole life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if you... Okay, you were born into slavery in which you were like... Look at this outfit, though. Look at this fucking outfit, though. Look at this outfit, though. I love that. I think it's the caffeine. I don't know. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack looking at this shit. This wig? <laughs> I'm have. Oh, you don't understand right now. Oh my god. When we get to a character named Ahsoka Tano, this whole debate about the Jedi Council will make a lot more sense. She's my favorite character. Well, one of my favorite characters. She's my, one of my favorite ones from the prequel, or from the, yeah, from the prequels. Basically, she's one of the ones that says, like, this whole system of doing this bullshit bureaucracy thing with oh we can't train him because it doesn't it can't go by our rules doesn't make any sense and they also can't date people as a jedi you can't like marry stuff you can't you have to be like only force basically you have to be an ascetic monk which is why they're all sad <laughs> and why yoda doesn't have like a wife so what's the other option? You're just gonna send him back and be a slave again? Is that what you're gonna propose? They kind of retcon this in like the sequels. They were like, eh, mm -hmm. we're not gonna talk about many chlorines right now. Let's just, let's just you know, it's based on your like f your faith. That's how we'll go about it. This is a level in Battlefront Two. Have you have, have you played it yet? That level? Yeah, I played this. Okay. Mm -hmm. You probably had a lot of stuff spoiled for you then. Um, like you I knew, didn't read anything else. Well, I mean, but you saw like the droids and stuff, right? Mm, I don't know. Well, have I you have you have you that, have you played have you played the clones yet? No. Oh, okay. Damn God. I love she's just like every single scene she's like oh by the way <laughs> we're gonna pull out this outfit eh, we'll do this one too there's earth <laughs> by the way he gets a beard in the second movie in the third movie he needs it <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there Ewan McGregor right now I mean Ewan McGregor today is okay but him back in 1999 he need he needs something. It's not working. And with that haircut, he just looks paced. It's just no. But he does get a beard in the second one. I, th I think I think I, I I can see it. I can see I can see it for you. When we see the second one, I can see it when we get when we get to the second one and the third one. I can see uh, I can see you simping a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I can see it. I can see it. We'll. we'll I don't know how the Gungan economy works, um, or really much about their culture. I don't really think there's much really about it. They just kind of are there. I don't know how they have like a hierarchy, how they, uh, I don't know. Her outfit, see this is her battle outfit, look at this shit too. This is not Natalie. Yeah, that's not, yeah. that's the girl that was in that one scene. Uh, maybe. Oh, they kind of sound different. A little bit, yeah. I mean, to be fair, the Gungans don't have any spacecraft, and they're fighting against, like, forces of droids that are coming from space. And you got, like, horse, like, horse, duck horses that you're riding, and you have, like, s spears and shit like that. Like, you're not really up to fighting, like, a galactic federation. Like, you can do, like... <laughs> <laughs> One Syrian drone strike would just completely like obliterate their entire civilization. So they're not one. They're not one to choose whether or not they want help or not. 
I'd love to know where these heads are from. What culture they're from. Because they're not Gungan because they're like humanoid. Like Gungans, if they wanted, they would make like, they would have like duck bills if they were theirs. What if it's Earth? I know it's based on like Tibetan, like Buddhist stuff, but like, what if it actually is? Ew, I don't like either of them. <laughs> I think I think he's a little hot. Do you? He's got that. He's got that gait when he walks. <laughs> that saunter. This was like the first scene from the trailer, which was like the first Star Wars official media they had in like over a decade. So like when people saw that them coming out of the fog, it was like <gasps> Star Wars now, this is what it is. And then they ended up hating it. Have I mentioned how much The Phantom Menace, how beloved this movie is? Is it? It's absolutely just, the, the the fans love this movie so much. It's just like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It's just it's astounding how much they love this movie. I'm gonna be honest, I don't get it. <laughs> this is like the worst song I've seen so far. Look at this Windows ninety seven <laughs> background. Um, no, this is actually like arguably the most hated movie of the entire franchise. <laughs> they absolutely like it's it's most people want you to they, they don't understand what's happening especially without the context of the next two movies it really doesn't make a lot of sense what's going on because it's like why is why are they doing that i mean it it, it will make sense and there are like, some I understood, like the beginning but now i'm so lost yeah exactly like, well I, 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 there's there's parts that i'm confused by and i even know what happens like, I know everything of what's going to happen, and it's still, I'm like, why did they do that? It's a little better once you know everything, because there is just, there's foreshadowing in this one, but it's, it doesn't, on its own, it doesn't stand up at all. I don't know what the problem was, though, why it didn't do so well. I know this is one of the ones that George Lucas both wrote and directed. He didn't direct, like, Empire. Like, he, he wrote the script, but he didn't direct it. So that's why a lot of people like Empire. <laughs> the, it's, like, visually nice, but... Yeah. Got yeah, like, it's, like, just, yeah. There's the Wilhelm scream again. No. <laughs> this level is long as fuck in the Lego Star Wars game. It's so long. I don't know why they drew it out so much. Me and the boys. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> So, so the droids are with the Viceroy, which is like the, do you know who the Viceroy is? Honestly, no. Okay, he's the, he's the one with the really big weird red eyes that like has the weird Japanese accent. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's the, yeah. that's the Viceroy. They are funding droids for the, um, they're the Trade Federation. Um, and they, uh... Yeah, you know, that's pretty much where I'm at. Either, I, yeah. Basically, the premise is that the Gungans are good and then the droids are bad. <laughs> then that, that's... <laughs> you expect a, a 10-year-old to understand this? I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> like, this is... I mean, to be fair, this is a kid's movie. Red group. Red group. Or at least at, at the most, a family movie. Okay, this scene... This scene is good, though. This is like one of the best scenes, like from all of the movies, even though this movie isn't the scene is. 
get fucking wrecked. Love this song. I think arguably he wrote this scene and then he was like, let's build a whole movie around this scene. It's one of those situations. <laughs> Me trying to drive. <laughs> Me parallel parking. <laughs> <laughs> so basically he just kept pressing the wrong button he's like fuck it i'm just gonna go into space <laughs> i'm just gonna go into space battle now i don't care <laughs> oh god this this scene is so good <laughs> get wrecked god this part right here damn there's a running thing with like like the Ewoks were kind of like them too, where it's like nature not having technology versus technology with nature winning for some reason somehow. Do you think he has like a lesion on his amygdala and he doesn't have, he, he can't feel fear at all? Um, he has fucking something. <laughs> he's got no, something. No, There's no, some no, brain damage where he's like, oh yeah, I mean, I'll just, yeah, I'll jump into fire. Why not? <laughs> Oh, hell no. Hell no. Fuck this. I'm just simply passing. <laughs> yeah. This scene's kind of weird. The pacing gets weird. Like, he just st he sits down at some point. It's weird. He's like, I'm tired. I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, that CGI aged really well. <laughs> Big boobs. Anyway. So the guy who plays Darth Maul is like a trained martial artist too. That's why he can do that shit. And why Ewan McGregor is not doing that. I, I don't know anyone that reacts like that. I'm, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Maybe they do in space. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the vacuum of space just makes you go <laughs> have manic episodes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Me splashing my pool noodle on the water. <laughs> I still don't know why my ass is this fat right now. I love their outfits. So I much. know. Sixty percent of the budgets <laughs> just her outfits. That, that's well, that's that, the best part of this movie. Uh, honestly. <laughs> No, we're sending you back to Tatooine. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, kid. Oh my god, I forgot. So there's this, like, really famous Star Wars YouTuber, I forget his name, but he used that quote, the, um... What is it, the two... Rule of two, no more, no less. And he was like, yeah, that's proof that, um, only males and females exist. There's no not, there's no, like... Okay. I was like, what are you even fucking talking about? You're gonna like <laughs> like that's I've never seen someone stretch that far. From fucking Star Wars. Yeah, like he's like that's that's that that's science. Mace Windu said it. I'm like okay, and he got like a hundred thousand hundred a hundred thousand people fucking watching it, saying yeah that's true. I'm like yeah okay that's how we that's how we discuss gender. It was about like it was when like the uh like unisex bathroom thing was going on. Like more like than it Star is now. Star Wars fans are kind of degenerate. Um, no, they absolutely are. <laughs> they absolutely are. Hence, why there's no there are, there is zero LGBT anything in Star Wars at all. I mean, at all. I've from what I've seen, I can't remember a single thing in it. I love this outfit. Oh, absolutely. This is the best one yet. <laughs> yeah. That's her holding the scepter. After she wins All-Stars 18. <laughs> yeah, they cut his hair now, so... And he's got the Padawan braid. There's that one, so that is arguably... Well, no, actually, I'm gonna say it. I think this one is... Second worst. I think Rise of Skywalker is the worst one. 
Mm. And we'll get to that one. We got we got one, two, th- one, two, three, four. We got four more movies, and then that one, the last one, will be that one. So you get to end on the worst one. Great. Attack of the Clones is really good. That's the, the Attack of the Clones is the first one that I actually watched in theaters because this one came out when I was one and a half, so I didn't get to actually see it in theaters. That was the these two. Um, the last. So, my channel is going to be um, removed if I say this, but Last Jedi is probably my favorite one. <laughs> the video cuts to black. No, uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to say I think I've said it before. It's one of my favorite ones. It's also like the one that everyone hates. I think you'll like it because you like you like because you like you you read books. Most Star Wars fans they don't read books. They just kind of um, they just like the bright colors and the sounds. They just go, oh, that's that looks that looks, <laughs> yeah. They they're like, oh, that's sound. Oh, okay. You actually like um, like philosophy and stuff. That movie has a lot of it. So, I think we're good. The fucking sounds. That's <laughs> they, what they yeah, they they look at it and they're like, oh, pretty lights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's worse, fucking Star Wars fans or weebs. I don't even. Well, I mean, <laughs> I at really least don't know. at least weebs semi i mean some some of them accept trans as a actual identity yeah when Star- they, like fetishize it well that's true <laughs> i don't know what's worse making it illegal or fetishizing it um we'll see I'll come back for the next fucking <laughs> god damn all right did you have fun did you like this movie no. Oh, I think you'll I think you'll like the next one. The next one is the cheesiest one. Um, it's got like the most action scenes. So if you like them fighting, it's got that. But it also has like the waterfall scene. <laughs> uh, so we'll leave that. For... I've never been so confused watching something than what I <laughs> than this movie. I think you'll I think you'll be more confused at the rise of Skywalker, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Well, I hope you like the next one because the next one's um, yeah. <laughs> Anything will be better than this. I promise. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a mess. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pick your poison. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna chug the other 500 milligrams of coffee, uh, caffeine in this coffee uh, right now. So, glug glug glug. <laughs> All right, so that was um, the Phantom Menace. Um, that was okay. I forgot a lot of stuff happened in that movie because I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not really happy that I went through that, but we'll we'll get through it. Uh, the next one will be Attack of the Clones. As I said before, Attack of the Clones was one of the first ones that I think it was the first one I saw in theaters. So that will be fun uh, to relive that one. Uh, I remember I was about six when I saw it in theaters and um, the beginning scene, if I remember correctly, is a parallel of 9-11. So um, as a six year old reliving the horror of 9-11 again will be uh, really fun as an adult. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. Bye.